Eh, uh, okay, please just uh, hurry up, eh? I don't want this thief to leave this house. Eh, uh, thief is still here, of course. But uh, please just hurry up, eh? Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, eh? Assignment to be delivered by this time tomorrow. No, everything is under control. All right, bye bye. Mrs. Chibuzo. Sir. Why are you late again today? I'm sorry, sir. My son had an attack last night. My husband was not there. I went to my neighbor to complain to them, but they were not there. So this morning I took him to the hospital. The doctor was in a meeting. When he finished, he came out and said I should deposit 20,000 Naira. So I went out to look for 20,000 Naira before they treat my son, sir. Mrs. Chibuzo, in as much as I sympathize with you, I must say that your excuses are becoming too much for me to bear. It's either your son today, your husband, or tomorrow is going to be your mother-in-law. I'm sorry, sir. It's not a question of being sorry. The, the, the fact is that you are allowing your domestic problems to, to uh, adversely affect your work here. This is an import and export agency. It's a private enterprise. It's either you get ready to work or be prepared to resign and face your family problems. I, I'm sorry, sir. It won't happen again. I promise, sir. Please. You had better not. Thank you, sir. Now go and uh, reconcile the account for Emmanuel Holdings. They have been on our neck to supply their consignment. Yes, sir. I will, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, no, so this is Wisdom. Oh, Wisdom? Uh, what happened? I didn't see your sister in the house and uh, she hasn't even been to my office yet. No, so, uh, look, I'm, coming, I'm calling from the police station, all right? And the situation is that my sister actually got to your house. Yeah, she came to your house, but missed you by minutes. Then your wife asked her to wait, only for her to go and organize police to arrest her. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. What are you talking about? Well, exactly what you heard me say. She accused her of burglary and theft. What? Did your sister steal anything? Man, how could you be asking that kind of question now? Ah. 
How can my sister come to your house and, and, and steal? No, 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 I'm sorry, but you know, I just wanted to be sure. I mean, this is really a big surprise. Well, uh, that's it now. Anyway, they need you at the station to, to, to identify her as having an appointment with you this morning before they can, uh, they can, they can release her. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll be there right away. By the way, which uh, station is that? Okay, I'll grab my way. What sort of stupid overreaction was that? I did not overreact. You did? I did not. I thought, shut up! Didn't she tell you she was for my friend Wisdom? Uh huh. So, did she have to come to the house? Listen, she doesn't know my office. She was supposed to meet me here for me to take her to the office to start work as my new cashier. And rather than help the poor girl to the office, you invited the police to come and arrest her. Why? Why would you accuse an innocent girl of theft? Why? Do you know what that means? Do you know the, the dent on her image? And the psychological trauma you've caused her? whatever. I don't care. Actually, my own is I don't want any girl coming into my matrimonial home. I don't. At least I've used her to set an example for the others. Now they will all know there is no vacancy in this house. I've told you times to that number that I don't have time for any other girl. I mean, you're more than enough for me. For God's sake, what would I be looking for in any other woman? I know, I know, I trust you. I trust you, but the problem is with these girls. They can be desperate, don't you know? They, they could charm you if they come anywhere close. So I'm only trying to keep them at arm's length. It's not my fault, and I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please, baby, go, please. Listen, you just have to make sure this sort of thing doesn't repeat itself again. I already said it once. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay? Mm. It's all right. I have to be leaving for work. Come on, have breakfast, man. Honey, I'm already late for work. Okay, I'll eat when I come back. That means you haven't forgiven me. I have forgiven you, but I have to be in the office. Okay, at least drink tea. Is that going to make you happy? Yes. Okay, fine, bring the tea. This your husband wants to kill you with cash. Mm. Yes. Husband, please, oh, I bought this car with my own personal money. 
my sweat. Nkechi, you're joking. Wait, you mean you brought out the money from your own pocket to, to buy this car now? Chioma, girlfriend, am I not working? I'm working now. Over time, I saved my salary and I walked into the car mat, bought a car. Ah, just like that. I'm even tired of men's chakara when they buy cars for you. You're right. And besides, you know how it is now. There's a personal fulfillment in you when you know that you can work and make money and buy whatever it is that your husband can also buy for you. Talking about being a career woman. So you, you, oh, you're very right there, but wait, what did your husband say when he saw this? My husband. Of course now, he came, he looked at it very well and said, eh, is that it? And he walked away. But you know how it is? He was boiling with envy in his heart. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Ah, oh, this is serious. This is this is really nice. You know how it is. Independence is the in thing these days. Abby, you know? be independent. You're right. You're right. Ah, I'm happy for you. No, no, no. Come, let's go and celebrate. Yeah. We need to. Ah, thank you very much. Hello, independent woman. Yes, What is the problem? You didn't even welcome me properly. Is anything the matter? Now, so I want to get a job. I want to work. I'm tired of sitting down in this house I do, day in, day out, waiting for you to come back from your own working place. Oh, sweetheart, I thought we've already settled this issue. There's no need for you to work. Now tell me, is there anything you want I cannot provide? Is it clothes, jewelries, a car? Just name Mom, it. So that is not the issue now, eh? It's boring sitting down in this house. Besides, if I was in my office, what happened here the other day would not have occurred. Well, I, I, I just don't think it's proper for a young married woman to go out there in the city and start working. I mean, it's a place filled with lions, tigers and wolves in sheep clothing. So that's your fear. I know. But sweetie, I can take care of myself now. Eh? Besides, there are countless women out there working. They are people's wives too, you know. Oh, what did you call them? People's wives, Abby? Not my own wife. Choma, listen, listen. I don't want us to overflow this issue, okay? If you really want to work, then you have to work in my office. In your office? Huh. Also, I can't. I can't work in your office, so. Why? Oh, 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 all these other places you want to go and work, are they bigger and better than my office? Tell me, whatever they are ready to pay you, I'm willing to pay the same amount as well. I just want you to work where I'll be seeing you all the time. In your office? No, so please, eh? I don't want to die young. Meaning? I can't work in that office of yours, with your numerous girlfriends tripping in and out. Honey, don't be ridiculous. You know there are no girlfriends anywhere. Mm -hmm. Anyway, no, so that is not even the issue. I want to go out and look for my own job. I don't, I don't want to work in your office. Working in your office is the same thing as sitting at home. What's the difference? I want to go out and, and, and search for my own work. Honey, please now, just grant me this one request. I've been asking for for God knows how long now. Eh? It's all right, it's all right. Hmm? I'll think about it. If only that would make you smile. Okay. Sweet that I'm famished, huh? Is there any food in the house for Oka to eat? Of course. Hmm? Yeah, you just got messy. <sighs> I'll change you myself. <laughs> Excellent credentials, I must confess. Thank you very much, sir.
There is a guest house at Gowan Estates. That is the address. I want you to meet me there by 8 o'clock this evening. I think there will conclude your interview. Let's see how good you'll be according to your credentials. Excuse me, sir. I am a happily married woman. <laughs> Are you sure you really need this job? Yes, I am. Then meet me there at 8 o'clock this evening. I will do no such thing. I am happily married, thank you. You're either going to offer me a job or you're not. You will do no such thing? No. That is the door. Get out! Go and meet your happily married husband. Quickly, get out! Nonsense. Shit. Nonsense. Today is today is over. Our chairman is going on break. So, I call back tomorrow. Thank you. Sorry. What time? Normal time. Good morning. It's 9 o'clock. 9 You have finally come to see me. That's good. I wonder why you did not accept my offer to be my number three wife. And now somebody has taken your place. My chairman, you see, I, I am pleading on her behalf. Uh, you see, since she has gone round and finally come back, Agaracha must come back. I am begging you, chairman, please reconsider her once again. Is that so? Yes, my chairman. Yes, you're right. Maybe she should be number four. <laughs> Thank you very much, my Chawa. <laughs> Billy, tell her what she stands to gain. You are very, very lucky, Chayova. <laughs> Chairman will give you a salary of 250,000 naira every month. <laughs> Chairman will buy you a car, any car of your choice. Zara. Chairman will also give you a house, <laughs> etc. etc. Et oh, it's okay, it's okay. Huh? What is? It's good to see you. Come let us go and talk more. Come, come. Oh. Yes, yes. Eh? You, you want to slap chief? You want to slap Agunebi Ogundibo? Metoga, are you not afraid? Afraid of who? You want Me. to slap Agunebi Ogundibo? This is what I said. That's you. Dirty pig. Me pig? Have you seen one before? Oh, you have no respect for the pig that can buy you and put you in his house. Very unfortunate, Chairman. Ah, okay. I can't believe that this is happening, Chairman. I will stand here, Ah, oh, this is unacceptable, Chairman. Stand here for the office. Hey! Yeah. Come! Get this girl! Get her up! Tie her up! I am going to shut her up! Are you mad? I am going to kill you, my Chairman! I am going to scatter your waist with my money! In fact, finish my Chairman! This girl wants to stop me! She is going 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 to stop me! You want to slap that grave with you? What are you doing in the house? Slap me! I'm going to do it. Stop it there! Uh huh. One minute. Where is the email you say you are speaking to? Give me. Always give me lazy, lazy. Uh huh. What is he saying? Limit. Come on, Billy. My child, come on. Come and see what Mr. Smith is talking about. What is he saying? 
My chairman, he says we should remit some more money to him. This is $50,000 I'm seeing here. Ah, this man is a thief! Yes, my chairman. His mother is a rogue! Yes, my chairman. Ah. I don't, what is he saying again? He's saying that the last money we sent to him was not properly used. Oh my god, that guy is a thief! Yes, my chairman. This man is a rogue! Yes, my chairman. Will you shut up, my friend? This is an office. Oh, I should shut up. Yes. Where is my wife? <laughs> so this is the small boy that is scattering this young girl's free head. My friend, if you don't produce my wife right now, I will have all of you here arrested. <laughs> Go and find out what the motor this man came with. Yes, my child. So you are the young man. That is scattering his head, eh? My chairman, that thing he came with does not have a name, but it's just see? a moving motor. You see? Look, young man, don't worry, I will buy you a better motor. Eh? Just forget her. You are mad. Huh? Me mad? I could not be open the Be like you there. Yes, my chairman. How can you call my chairman mad? A man who wants to help me out of your miserable poverty. Uh -uh. Look at your shoe, I swear to God. My chairman, please forgive him, for he knows not what he has just said. Just so. Look, I'm going to forgive this young man because of you. Yes, my chairman. Look, young man, I want to help you. I know what your problem is. Poverty. Stark poverty. You cannot maintain her. Don't worry. I could help you open the is going to buy all your poverty away from you. Yes, my chairman. Huh? Yes, my chairman. Find out what she, uh, uh, his problem is what. Yes, hmm? my chairman. If it's below 10 million, huh? you can solve the problem. Are you there? Thank you very much, my chairman. Have a yes, my chairman. To do it. You are very lucky. The chairman has said you buy your reason? problems away. <laughs> You're a young man like me. Please, where is my wife? Listen, it, it, this is something we'll talk between me. Come, come, come. Let's go talk. Come, let's talk man to man. The chairman has to be so to me. Let's discuss. Between men. This is a bit complicated, you know. Eh? Look, you must have seen what's my brother. Just like that. Just like that. It's not like that. There's a way these things are done. You will come to understand this with that. You make money, you make money. As if I pray till money. I don't want to hear anything. No more interviews, no more work. I mean, I'm sick and tired of all this embarrassment. Yeah, if I didn't do anything. I don't want to know. Enough is enough. You're going to remain in this house until I get you something to do. At least hear me out. Sweetie. Shoma, I said I am not interested. What's all this nonsense? I want to work. I want to work. Look at what it almost cost you. Huh? You were almost raped by that gorilla. Huh? Can you even imagine the nonsense? That... Good for nothing chimpanzee telling me that he wants to buy my wife from me. Huh? Come on, so you've really suffered. Honey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to embarrass you. Okay, it's just I truthfully I didn't know he owned that place. I didn't. Okay, okay, see, I'm not going for job in interviews anymore. No more seeking for jobs, okay? I promise. But can I still work in your office? No. I changed my mind about that. <laughs> Honey, please, please. I need to do something. Please, Shoma, I, to... I said I am not comfortable with that idea, okay? Sweetheart, I can't just sit down here. I'm a graduate. I have potentials I need to let out. Please. I need to work. I, I feel useless just sitting down it's here. It's all right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm. Huh? You just have to give me some time to think about it. Thank you, Honey. I promise then I'll be of good behavior. My best. Yeah. Just let me walk. Walk. How much does your wife cost? Sorry, I'm no, sorry. I know you have me. Sorry.
Has totally acclimatized with London weather. Just going from London, this is just London himself. London, London. I've just seen London in you. London is a very place, okay? Uncle, I want to go to London. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real, man. Oh, oh, you all want to fly away and leave me alone here? Easy, 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 easy. easy. Check it out. If you guys all fly off to London, who's going to take care of your mom? A widow. Mm? Think about it. Hmm. Daddy is no more. Okay? So she can't be left all alone. Uh, all, right, all, right, all, right, all right, all right, all right. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to be interchanging places. Really? By next year, really? Ogade will come back, you go over just like that. Is that okay by you? Please just call me. The important thing is that you are back. Yeah. <laughs> I, I nearly forgot. Mm. What about Choma and the husband? Oh, Choma is doing well. Oh. Fine. Thank God for that. I, I, I got her email last week and uh, I was impressed. Uncle, oh, I was impressed. Hey, I'm happy. I'm going to see her maybe by tomorrow. Uncle, you're not going to be bad at all. You're not going to be bad at all. You're just London. Yourself. <laughs> what what you know? I have some goodies for everybody. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That's Even Chema has some shit. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, it's all too much. people with this shapeless body of yours. And what is all this? Good question. What is this? Eh? Can't you be as decent as your mates? Come, let me tell you. I will not tolerate rotten looking girls in this office. Have I made myself clear? What do you think you are? To come in here and insult me? If you are befriending the boss, that does not give you the authority to come here and make stupid noise. Do you think you are the only one who knows him? Are you mad? You are telling me? Okay. You know my husband. You have the audacity to open that mouth and tell me you know my husband. You are sacked. Fired. My dear, I'm leaving this office this minute. Trust me. Sorry, ma. Yeah. I didn't know you are a girl's wife. How do you know when you are the other person who knows him better than I do? No problem. You have get her out of here. What is going on here? Sweetheart, please. How could you have employed this lousy, disrespectful girl to this office? Eh? Look at me. My, my, my first day and she has almost fought me. Her reason? She knows you inside out. Better than me, Chioma. Sandra, what happened? Sorry, sir. I didn't oh. sh sh shut up there. You didn't what? Now so what is this? Darling, listen, um, you, you don't really know her that well. I am telling you, she fought me and you're telling me I don't, I don't want to know her. Ah. All I know is that she is sacked. Do you understand? Me and this girl will not work under the same roof. Do you understand? Better do something. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is my wife. 
And from now onwards, I want you all to recognize her as your new general manager. Serious. So, where can I find the gym? She occupies the third office on your right. You just go straight, you see her. Thank you. Thank you. Good day, madam. Yes? I actually come to see them, but I was told I have to see you first. Can I at least sit down? I am Mrs. Arinze. I'm sure we've not met. What can I do for you? Well, uh, it's about a joint contract your company and mine have been working on for some time now. I would rather meet the MD because he is very much aware of the details. Well, such matters are being handled by this particular office. You don't need to see the MD for that. If you give me a minute, I'll just bring out your phone. I very much appreciate the protocol, madam. But like I said, I prefer to see them on this subject. There are some sensitive details that need his personal input. Are you insinuating that I'm incompetent? I mean, if the reason you're here is official, then what personal input do you need to see the MD for? Take it easy, madam. Don't misunderstand me. Your MD and I have come a very long way, not just with this contract. Mm. The MD and yourself have come a long way. It's married women like you who leave their matrimonial home, going about chasing young men in the guise of contracts. Well, madam, that will not happen in this office, not while I'm on this set. What the hell are you talking about? I can't sit here and you have me insulted. Nonsense. Look, MD, I can't have any of your employees insulting me simply because I come to do business with you. Madam, what happened? Imagine that right. You call your GM insulting me, calling me a prostitute, that I'm chasing after you. What? Madam, please, I'm very sorry. Please sit down. Please, I'm sorry. Just, just sit. Look, Nonso. The reason I'm still here is because of the respect my husband and I have for you. But your me employee insulting me simply because I come to do a business with you is unacceptable. Madam, please, I, I understand. That's why I said I'm sorry. Please forgive her. But, but the lady in question here is actually my wife. Your wife? Yes, madam. Uh, she just resumed work here not too long ago. She doesn't really know most of my associates. 
and you expect this business to grow? Well, I, I believe she will adjust. <laughs> Look, with an attitude like this, this company is heading for a crash. You're aware that my husband and I run our business together and we're making a good success of it. Look, her presence here should naturally be an advantage. Not exposing you to the wind of ridicule. Madam, the truth is that my wife is such a fast learner. She's going to adjust with time. It's just that uh, sometimes she could be a bit uh, strict. Which woman isn't? Just watch it. Domestic and business don't often mix. You're the one to draw that line. I have to go. I don't think I can discuss business in this state of mind. Please call me so that we can reschedule the meeting. My sister, me, as I come up this morning, so I don't want anybody to shout on me. So I want to quickly do this thing and leave here. So, Madam Tacha, say her own don't tire person. Eh? Oh, God shouldn't have allowed her to work in this office. My dear, this is love. Or oh, don't you know that this office has not turned into an extension? It's obvious it's not a love garden. Which kind of yellow? Is it? Is it is, is it this cat and dog relationship you call love? My dear, this is love. Otherwise, I see no reason why she follows him everywhere. As if he's going to disappear any moment. This is love. <laughs> now love. Which kind of ye love? Which kind of ye love you go call this one? Eh? Since she resumed this work, it's been trouble, both client and staff. Eh? My dear, I don't care. I don't give a flying sauce. If them like, let them turn this, turn this whole place upside down. As long as my salary is paid at the end of the month, period. This is very good, Mr. Anamso. Your company's profile is quite Excellent. Our company's import and clearing department has approved your applications and proposals in principle. Your company has been technically selected to handle some of our consignments, but that will take effect after a few necessary administrative procedures, okay? All right, sir. You see, we will need to inspect your company's uh, facilities and staff to be sure that uh, you can handle the job. Hmm? Okay. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much, sir. I must say I'm very grateful. Right. And uh, on behalf of my company, I want to promise that uh, we are not going to disappoint you. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. And uh, we will definitely get in touch with you. All right, then, sir. I should be on my way now. Thank you very much. It's yes. been a pleasure doing business with you. Congratulations once more. Thank you very much. Sir. All right. Bye. Baby. So how was it? Fine, fine. Everything went smoothly. Your director has approved, even though in principle. <laughs> I told them everything will work out smooth. I've already done my homework. <laughs> now we'll have to celebrate. Come on, buy me a drink. Come on, Linda. Buying you a drink is not a big deal. It's just that I don't even know how to start thanking you. Oh, come on. I'll do anything for you. At least for old time's sake. I really appreciate that. But I really have to be going back to the office right now. Oh, Nanto, I really miss you. 
please, please, let, let's not start this all over again. It's true. But the truth is, I can't get you off my mind. Look, you just have to try, okay? No matter how difficult it is, you just have to try. I mean, I, I really appreciate everything you've been doing for me, but you just have to understand that I'm a married man now. I'm not even thinking along that line. Linda, listen, I, I just have to get back to the, to the office right now, okay? You're leaving without giving me a kiss? Come on, little. A kiss. All right, all right. See you later. I'll give you a call later, huh? Okay. Thank you so very much. See the empty, and the jail we can see is keeping us waiting. How long do we have to wait here to see this jail of yours? Um, sorry, I guess I have to remind the jail of your waiting, please. Yes, madam. Those people waiting at the reception to see the MD. Yes, they're still waiting. Should I ask them to come in? All right, let the man come in. The woman can wait. But madam, they are together. OK, let them wait together. They have been waiting for a very long time, madam. I said let them wait. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. You have to wait for some time. More time? You think we have the whole day to wait here, isn't it? I'm sorry, you just have to wait. I'm sorry, madam. We are from Seashore Oil Company. If you can quickly attend to us, please, we need to get back to the office. So I should fly? Because you are from an oil company. I said you should wait. Madam, we have to get... If you were in such a hurry, why did you leave your place of work to come look for my husband? I beg your pardon? Oh, you think I don't know you? Linda, why would you not leave my husband on so alone? Hmm? Leave him alone. He's a married man. See? Proof. Leave him alone. You were not good enough for him. That's why he did not marry you in the first place. But instead, you come here parading the office like one rain soaked fowl. Or you thought if you came with a man, I'd be deceived. <laughs> nothing like that. No, sorry, no hard feelings. It's got nothing to do with you. I'm referring to this husband chase I have. Look at you. Look at yourself. You call yourself a general manager of a company? You're a shame. A total disgrace to whoever put you here. Disgracefully and shamefully leave my office. You're really disgusting. Nonsense. Aren't nonsense. Listen, John, you're not stepping foot in my office again, ever. Did you hear me? Listen, because of you, the company has lost the juicy oil contract that I worked so hard for. All because of your petty attitude. Just imagine. For God's sake, those people only came to inspect our facilities and staff. But lo and behold, you, my general manager, you had them embarrassed. Eh? Congratulations, oh. Congratulations! We have lost the contract. Rejoice. Ever since you entered that company, everything has virtually collapsed. Congratulations, Zoo. Congratulations. Mm. We have lost the contract. Eh? Rejoice. Don't blame me. If your company falls tomorrow, <laughs> how is it my fault? Are you not the one who has turned your office to a love nest for your numerous concubines? Which concubines? Mm. Which concubines? Concubines like Linda. Mm. Oh, you think I don't know? 
Hmm? Think I don't know you people were together in the past? Okay, what is she still looking for in your office? Hopping up and down around the place all in the name of contract. From contract to contact. And she just stand there watching. Choma, I am disappointed in you. Totally disappointed in you. Huh? I thought you promised to be of your best behavior. Huh? I felt you were matured enough to handle my business activities. But here you are. Hmm? Talking about concubine. My dear, I just call standing by and watching one woman from nowhere snatch my husband away from me. Maturity. That is total stupidity. And that is not what I am. Ah. Not stupid. Okay. Oh. No problem. Oh. Hmm? In my company. Abi, it's not our company, it's my company. There's no problem. But all I know is that you're not stepping foot in that company again. You're not working in my company ever again. Period. She's a woman. because I can't find them. You see, now you're asking. I said, did you take my car keys? Listen, woman. I don't have time for all these pranks right now. And I'm running late. Did you take the keys? No, sir. If you think you can simply toss me to one side to create room for those your numerous girlfriends in that office of yours, then you are joking. And we will all sit down in this house today. No more work. Hmm. Is something wrong with your head? Is something wrong with your head? Listen, Choma, you better produce those skills right now before you get me upset. Hey, Anna, come, come, come and force it off me. Come. That your trick will not work at all. I have made up my mind and that is final. Mm -hmm. Hey, come and go to work. Go and let me see you. Choma, let me have the keys. You can take a taxi. That's an option. I said let me have the keys.
Come on now. Stop me from doing what I want to do. You understand? But I'm going to let him know that somebody is here to represent Papa, and that person is Ikena Wokoy. You understand? Bia, Bia, Bia Ikena. Come, Ikena, you should say you fraud this guy. On a fraud Chris, come on for this guy, Ikena. What is the talk now? They do it now. No fraud this guy. Who do not? Who hammer this guy? Where, where? Who hammer? Who do not? Ikena, I will fraud. You should have fraud this guy. Where? This guy will try this nonsense. This like I'm not going to do it. Wait, keep quiet. How we show that in the Aram? How can you? You show that in the Aram? I don't say this thing for pass like this. They want this guy. They mess up. They want this guy. Why you say no problem? You understand? You know something? Do you have that dagger? A dagger? That your dagger? They're my room now. Okay, go right in there and pick up that dagger. You understand? We're leaving for Moses house right now. Okay, don't do this thing. Don't do this. 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 to come and teach another man a lesson in his own house? Sister, what are you talking about now? Eh? What are you talking about for Christ's sake? Could you just say that this guy beat you up mercilessly? You said so. I am Ikena. I've come to teach this guy a very big lesson. For real. Come on, shut up! Shut up! Is it you he beats? Eh? Is it both of you that he beats? Is it not me? Am I not his wife? Shoma. Why did you leave your father's house to come and teach another man a lesson? Now go back into that car and go home. I did not beg you people to fight for me. Go Shoma. back. Just look at what's coming out from your mouth. Chema, if you're not tagging on, look at what is coming out from your mouth. Actually, you're ashamed of yourself. Go After back. the old pity, you still have the intention go of coming back. back to this fool. Go back. Well, go home. Well, I just want to let you know something, you understand? I can't afford to lose you, my only sister in our family. But since you've decided to choose your own way, you understand, to live your life like this, whatever, baby, whatever, but listen and listen good, you understand? You will not see me in anything concerning you, you understand? Okay, no problem. Thank you. Ikena, Chike, go home. Supported okay. Just look at you. Please, Shoma, just look at your life. Look at your life. You are messed up. Messed up, sister! Just look at you. Nay, 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 All kinds of women troop in and out of the house and the office every day. When I complain to him, he will say I'm being jealous and I'm not mature. All right, leave me now. Let me go and work 
somewhere else. No. He wants me to sit down there and watch his girlfriend live in all sorts of disguises. But anyway, I have never reacted for one day. The only time I did was when that old woman came and I told her she was not going to take my husband away from me. Yes. And that was it, oh. He beat me. Blue black. <coughs> oh, dear, <Mo. coughs> This matter is pregnant, too. <laughs> yeah, no, so. Have you heard what your wife said? Yes, Chief. What do you have to say? Well, Chief, um, I'm ashamed that I have to be here to settle a case with my wife. I never expected this matter to escalate to this level. I don't really have much to say except that my wife is unnecessarily jealous and possessive. Ever since she started working in my company, I've lost almost all my clients, especially the female clients. She also made me lose a, a, a contract that I've been pursuing for over one year now. Just because she succeeded in embarrassing the inspectors that came to inspect our company. Inspectors that included his ex-girlfriend. Shut up, Chairman. I don't want to hear your voice again. Hmm. Mm. This matter, we has a couple. <laughs> So, because she changed away your female clients or your girlfriends, that is why you decided to kill her. Eh? Did you report this matter to the family? No, you didn't. That's it. Now, I am going to ask these boys to beat all cross seed out of you so that you will feel the pain. And you know how sweet it is to get beaten up. Bye. In law, please take it easy. We know how you feel. Our people say that when an object falls into a river, and is taxed for salt with source of defeat. In as much as I don't support Nonso beating up his wife, but he confided in me that what actually happened was after the quarrel that she lost condition. And I'll see what I mean. <laughs> you see, we don't know what you mean. Maybe you should explain to us. We are not small boys here. When a man asks his wife to scratch his back in the night and she refuses, it usually results to situations like this. I don't agree with you. I won't accept that. So it means that every time your wife refuses to scratch your back in the night, you resort to beating her. You descend on her. It means that people like you rape your wife almost every night. Bam! No, we are not saying it is right. That is why we have come to say sorry. And take our wife back. It no. will not happen again. I am sorry. I am aware that this kind of settlement has been done by my late brother. Yes, before this marriage even took place. I'm also aware that my nephews, all of them were vehemently opposed to this union, to this marriage. But my late brother, Chief Okoye, stood his ground. He put his foot down. He insisted that this marriage would take place. Now he'll be turning in his grave to know that our chairman has been pounded day and night. A few years after the marriage. Huh? He's been beaten day and night. Let me tell you, the way I'm looking at it, this might be the end of this marriage if care is not taken. Bam! We really know how you are feeling. Like they say, that is why we have come to say sorry and take our wife back. It no. will not happen again. I am sorry. I'm aware that this kind of settlement has been done by my late brother. Yes, before this marriage even took place. I'm also aware that my nephews, all of them were vehemently opposed to this union, to this marriage. But my late brother, Chief Okoye, stood his ground. He put his foot down. He insisted that this marriage would take place. 
Now he'll be turning in his grave to know that our trauma is being pounded day and night a few years after the marriage. Huh? He's been beaten day and night. Let me tell you, the way I'm looking at it, this might be the end of this marriage if care is not taken. Bam! We really know how you are feeling. Like they say, to err is human and to forgive. Send me your gospel now. You understand? This boy, this boy has brought us shame in this family. He has reduced us in the presence of our children. And I cannot forgive him in a hurry. No. Please forgive him. We are very sorry. It won't repeat itself. In the way. Please. Can you go now? We have had you. since yesterday. You don't eat? What is wrong with you? Mommy, I want to go home. Eh? I want to go back to my husband. Choma, is something wrong with you? Eh? Just two weeks. Two weeks after people gathered there and your uncle made the pronouncement. You want to go back to Nonso? Are you well at all? So what will I do? Am I going to remain here forever? No. Mm -hmm. But you have to let him miss you first. Okay? Let him meet you so much so that when you get back, you don't lay a finger on you again. That is how things are done. Mm -mm. Mommy, no. I can't stay here any longer. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm. Hey, I'll be here and then I'll, I'll just lose my husband to those desperate girls. <laughs> it's true. I had a dream last night. Four girls were in bed with him. Four? Mm -hmm. Two on this side, two on this side. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I can't deal with it, too. No. I have to go back to my husband. Well, I don't agree. No way. Not yet. Uh, I can't... <clears throat> what is it? Oh. What I is it? I don't know. I've been throwing up since yesterday. Did you eat something? No, this is about the first day. Choma! I said for you. I know you'll be surprised that uh, I'm inviting you so soon. But our people say that when you beat a child with the left hand, you pull him closer with the right hand. Yes. When I protested against your beating our daughter or any other woman for that matter, you thought I was being harsh. But see, you could have killed your child with your own hands. I don't understand, Chief. My dear, tell him. No, so. Mama? Your wife is pregnant. Mama, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. 
She's one month pregnant. Ah, Mama? Mama, where is she? Mama, where is my wife? Choma! She's upstairs. Chichi! Choma! you were like three years in hell. I mean, my life was so empty and tasteless. Mine was worse. It was like a nightmare. I'm telling you, I'd, I'd wake up in the middle of the night screaming your name and probably end up crying the rest of the night. I love you very much, Nelson. That's the truth. Oh, sweetheart. Words alone cannot express how I feel about you. Uh, I love you so much. Okay. Well, considering your present condition, I think you should stop work for now. You know, so that you have enough time to go for your antenatal and all that. Hmm. Okay. I agree, but I have to go to work for at least one week, just to clear my desk, okay? You're right, love. <sighs> so, I'm going to be alone for another nine months, no more work. Oh, sweetheart, you're never, you're never going to be alone, okay? I will always come home for lunch every day, I promise. Is that a deal? Sure, it's a deal. Okay. Oh boy. I'll hold you to that. So I'm gonna be a father. I'm going to be a man. It's gonna be a baby girl. I'm going to be a boy. No, a girl. Boy. Okay. It's gonna be a girl, and she's gonna look just like you. I now work with Metro Oil Company. You work with Metro Oil Company? Exactly. You are chopping oil money, oh. <laughs> and you really they show for your body. Ah, David! Hey! How much is Four minutes. <laughs> Please meet um, my classmates. We're in the same department when I was in school. His oh. name is David. Hey, David, meet my husband. How much Really? Yes. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Amici. He now works with oil company, Metro mm. Oil Company, chopping oil money. That's good. Hey, <laughs> David. You've got yeah, so fine. Look, it's so fine. Hey. It's not my, it's not my. <laughs> so what are you doing here? Actually, I came to pick up something for my woman. Hey, you are married now? Not really, my fiancée. Hey, she's a lucky girl. <laughs> ah, and she will continue to chop oil money. Hey, yeah. say your car. Hey, baby. Long guest time. I'm so happy to see you. That is so fun. So can I have your car? Sure, I can oh. call you. I'll call you. Hey. 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 You I'm can call me you. anytime. I'll call you, okay? I'll be eh? here. I'll call you. 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 Hey! So 
so happy to see Dave. Cynthia, I have had enough of this insult. Uh, what insult? You are asking me. How can you be kissing and hugging a man all over in my presence in the name of greeting? Uh, how do civilized people greet these days? Is it not by hugging and kissing? I beg your pardon? Oh, I am now an uncivilized bushman, isn't it? That's not what I meant. Then what? Your own is getting too much, Seth. Ha! Why is it that you, you, you pick on every, every little thing I do? I'm sure somebody is gossiping me. Somebody is telling you things about me. That's why anything I do, you, 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 you find faults there. Just listen to yourself. You did something right here in my presence and you're talking about somebody gossiping. I saw what you did, so who must have gossiped to me? If somebody is not telling you something about me, you, you won't, you won't pop nose in everything I do. You, you won't find fault in it. Uh -uh. Or, or maybe what you want me to do is to just sit in one place. No movement. No talking. Is that what you want? That is what you want from today. Eh? Please, let's go. Let's go, please. Ah. A new house. Nah. Is this your house? Yes, Mama. <sighs> this is beautiful. That's my son. <laughs> the house is beautiful. Let's go inside. Uh, bring your Mama's things from the kitchen. Huh? Okay, sir. Nah. Mama. Nah. Nah. Grandson finally comes. He'll be as strong as the father. Please. Mama, mm. how can you tell if he's going to be a baby boy or a baby boy? I baby know boy. you're the son of your father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm carrying it though, he's not mm. Look, I want you to give me seven children. Only? Mm. Seven children. Only. Mama, it's no problem. Ah. It won't bother her. Uh, my own is just two. Don't worry, seven children. You've had them. You've had. Uh, <laughs> at least that will really make us stay at home the most. <laughs> <laughs> you know, women. We're all like that. Nah. Mama. Do you know that that little girl? Junior. That one that they just married yesterday. Do you know that she went and caught that orange tree by your window? Why? That she wants to plant plant cassava there. Without even asking for my permission. Village hmm. politics. So Can what you imagine you... that small girl? She wants to overrun the whole compound. And what did you do about it? I told your father now. Uh, of course, you know. Uh, what did he say? He will never support me in anything. So I reported that to the village meeting. Uh, Mama, did you have to go that far? Hmm. They will find her. They find her? They find her. How much? 200 naira. <laughs> Why are you amused? <laughs> 200 naira what? 200 naira to show that she was guilty. Is it 2,000 naira or 200 naira? 200 naira. They find her that much. Ah. What she did was unhearable. Oh, Mama. 
200 naira. Hmm. It's not even worth the trouble. 200 naira. I just wanted that little girl to know that somebody is in charge in that family. Ah. Next time, she will refer to me before she does anything in that family. Mm. That's, That's all enough. I wanted to achieve anyway. Mm. Mm. And your father never supported me. When I reported, he said, mm, I just uh -huh. leave that thing. I said, hey, you will never support me, I know. But I went ahead. And, and when I finally won, he said, hey, that's my wife. What more were you expecting from Papa? You know how he is now. Do you know, do you know that he didn't want me to come to this Lagos? Why? He doesn't want me to go to leave the house. He doesn't want me to go anywhere. He just wants me to stay in that house and be serving him. Do you even know that he even went and called his senior sister, his senior brother, to come and judge case with me? That I will not go to Lagos. Do you know what they were asking me? Who will be good for your husband? Uh, Where they uh, are away? Is it that bad? This cooking that I have been doing for 32 years now, is it not enough? Uh, uh. And ask me, your two, see, your two junior sisters are there. Your brother is there. Those your aunties and uncles, they are against me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't like me, you know that. They don't ever like me. Ah, Mama. Hmm? Um, I'm sure you're very tired now after that long journey. Maybe you should just go to the guest room, take your bath and sleep. I also want to go and sleep. Ah, you mean you, don't, you are not enjoying what I'm saying? Ah, Mama, can you say that? You know, I have to go to work in the morning. Besides, you're not leaving tomorrow now. Mm. We will still talk more when I come back from work. I have to go to work in the morning. Mm. Uh, mm. No. Uh, but I. Uh... Let me let me show you to the guest room. Mm. problem and that's why I've come to see you. What's the problem? It's Amechi. Your husband? Yes. What about him? Look, I'm, I'm tired. I'm completely fed up. I'm tired of the whole thing. You cannot be tired. Eh? Okay. Relax and tell me exactly what the problem is. You see, He's so, so jealous and so suspicious, eh? He, he complains of every move I make. He does not give me breathing space at all, eh? Honestly speaking, I'm tired. I'm fed up. Don't forget the circumstances under which you met yourselves. I mean, you have a little time to understand yourselves better. No. Um, no. This one has really gone out of hand. Eh? It has really gotten out of hand, eh? Somebody is gossiping me to him. Somebody is telling him things about me. Cynthia, <laughs> 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 Cynthia. What's, what's, what's funny? It takes a thief to catch a thief. How, how do you mean? So you, you can be hurt by something like this? Why, why not? <laughs> oh my god. That reminds me of the, the pranks you played to break Nonso uh, and your master uh, uh, relationship. Uh, uh, please, 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 <laughs> don't bring back the past tense. Uh -uh. I'm talking about me, about my life, about my marriage, for goodness sake. I don't want to lose Amechi. Eh? Okay, let's be serious. So how do you want to go about it? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. That is why I've come to see you. Eh? You know you are the one that introduced him to me. You are the one that got both of us together. Eh? I don't want to lose him now. I came to see you so that you can help me talk to him. Okay. I will see you major tomorrow. But I still believe that you are the only person who can sort this matter out. If you think that somebody is trying to break your marriage, then you put your nose down and found out whom that person is. Of course now, trust me. Is it not me, Cynthia? I 
I've already done that. She is out to destroy my marriage. Eh? I have been begging God, praying seriously for God to give me a husband. Now that God has answered my prayer, somebody wants to destroy it. It is me and her in this town. I will deal with her. She wants to destroy my marriage. Hmm. Hmm. You sound as if you have somebody in mind already. Of course. Of course now. Who else? No, tell me. Who else? It is that her mad, stupid sister. Eh? That is always doing her eyes. Para, 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 para in the house. Everything I do. I'm sure she's the one gossiping me and telling, telling his brother, filling him with lies about me. But Nemesis will catch up to with her very soon. I will make sure I send her out of that house. Don't worry. Don't, I will catch her right on this soon. Don't be rational about it. I will see her meeting tomorrow. Please, Mike. Don't tell him I came to no, no. discuss it with you. Susan. 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 Mountain has refused to go to Mohammed. Mohammed has come to Mountain. Hey, Mike, don't say that. Don't say that. Wait. Honestly, I've been very busy these days. That's why. But as a matter of fact, Mike, I really wanted to come and see you for something very important. I hope that's no problem. Well, um, it's just that I want us to discuss about. Um, exactly why I wanted to come and see you. In fact, we're not doing fine at all. It can't be that bad. It's bad. Very, very bad. I don't know, Cynthia has just decided to remain a total stranger to me. I don't understand why she's very edgy. She's always edgy. Yes, you have to take it easy. You get to understand yourselves better as time goes on. Mike, you don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Okay, for instance, Cynthia will do something wrong right now. And if I point it out, she denies it instantly and begins to accuse me of spying on her. And some flimsy excuses like that. If she makes any mistake and I point it out, she becomes jumpy. I, I don't know, she begins to shout and make all kinds of noise and say all kinds of things. Sometimes she makes me feel as if she's hiding something from me. I'm at you. You are a man. I do not women. At times, they want to do something the way it will not suit us. And what do we do? We still have to treat them with love, with understanding. Look, I am trying. Mike, I am trying. God knows that I am trying my possible. God knows I am trying my best to see that this marriage works. You have to try more. You have to try. It was like that when I married Bella. We were quarreling all the time. But today, do you know she cannot sleep without me? Well, Cynthia is not helping matters at all. She's not, she's not helping me out. She's just, she's, I, 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 I don't really understand her. You see, I don't want to believe that I have done bad by bringing both of you together. No, 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 no. Then what is happening? You have done the traditional wedding. It just wedding. White wedding, then everything will be over. But it's okay, I, I pray, I, I believe, I believe it will work out. So how's your wife? 
to her, I am the best thing that has ever happened to her. <laughs> That's what every woman feels one day in the husband's house. I want you to introduce it to your home. Well, I'll try. I'll try. So that you are going to be two in one. <laughs> my, my. It's all right. Why does it look like there's a problem? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, I think I have to leave right now. Okay. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Let it be as we discussed. Huh? Okay. No problem. Uh, Gemma. Mm. Take care. Take care, dear. Bye. -bye. Okay. Um. Darling, what happened? I'm just coming from the house and uh, Agatha told me she didn't know where you went. And why did you switch off your phone? Well, since you refused to come home every day for lunch, as agreed, I decided to come to you. Or do they say, if Muhammad does not go to the mountain, the mountain will surely go to Muhammad. I wonder who is Muhammad here and who the mountain is. Oh, that's by the way. So can we go for lunch now? Yes, yeah, so. Please, I'm famished. We are very hungry. Thank you. I was only trying to find out if one Miss uh, Cynthia lives here. Cynthia? Yeah. Yes. Is there any problem? Oh, not at all. I work at Mega Plaza. She came there yesterday to buy um, some items. And after trying out the new jewelry she bought, she forgot the open. And, uh... Okay, this belongs to her. Yeah, I traced the address through the duplicate of our receipt. That's very nice. Thank you very much. I'll give it to her when she comes. Hold on. Let me see. You can just take this to the taxi. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm so tired. Kai. So how was your work today? Hectic. <laughs> Very hectic. But thank God I'm at home now. Please thank God. I can see that. That reminds me. You didn't tell me you were going to Mega Plaza yesterday. Mega Plaza? Uh huh. You were there yesterday, weren't you? I met you. Amechi, what is this all about? Eh? No, tell me, what is this thing all about? Am I a kid? Anywhere I go to, you want to know. I go in and come out, you ask me questions. Eh? People come here to see me, my friends, you want to ask them the last time they saw me. I receive phone call. You want to find out who is on the line. I don't like it, it's getting out of hand. For God's sake, Cynthia, I only ask a simple question. No, what is simple about this question, Amechi? What is simple about it? Tell me. Eh? 
Are you a kid? Somebody is feeding you with lies. Somebody is gossiping me to you. There's a spy somewhere, Amechi. And you must tell me where that informant is today, Amechi. You, what you do is sit here and gossip me to my husband. I go outside and come in, you gossip me to him. My friends come to see me here. I receive phone calls, everything you tell him. You cook up stories and you tell him. You this witch. You will leave my house today. Susan, you must leave my house today. Leave me, what is it? What? You must leave my house today. No! Brother, one how? You are the one that will leave this house this very moment. I am sick and tired of your irrational behavior. Your madness! Listen, you go right in there, pack your things, and leave me in peace right now! It is this your sister that is a witch, that is mad. And you are the one that will leave this house for me today. You are going to leave my house for me today, whether you like it or not. You think I'm joking, right? You think I'm joking? Watch me. Joseph, what of course! I don't want you to go to work today. Stay with me. Honey, please. Now, I already explained to you that I have an important meeting to attend. Every time, meeting, 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 meeting. Only today I'm asking you to stay. Oh. I did say you, 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 you shouldn't go to work other days. Just today. One day you can't give to me. <laughs> Honey, the meeting is not as important as you are, but I just have to be there. I thought I explained all these things to you before. Now, sir, you are the MD of that office. If you don't go for one day, it will not collapse. Hmm? Besides, other women in, in, in my condition, at eight months, their husbands stay at home now. They, they, they end up not going to work anymore. Oh, honey, I know. Okay, fine, no problem. But would you just allow me to attend this meeting today? Please, please. It's very important. Let me go. Okay, don't worry. I promise to come back 12 on the dot. To take you to the hospital. I promise. I mm. promise. You won't go to work tomorrow. Is that okay? Okay, I won't go tomorrow. Mm. But I can go now. Fine. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Mm. I'll see you, honey. Take care. Love you. Hang on, hang on, don't panic, I'm coming right away. Also, I, I love you so much, okay? Just, just hang on for me, okay? I, I'm on my way. All right, love.
You sounded like there was an emergency on phone. Yeah, is this not enough emergency? Yes, we don't. Ah, Choma. I mean, that, that was such an expensive joke. I mean, I could have killed someone on my way rushing back to the house. Hmm, I thought your joke was more important than your pregnant wife. So you can still run home? Anyway, just sit down there and take care of your pregnant wife. Uh, you know that's not possible now, huh? I mean, listen, I, I left a whole lot of things undone in the office. Mm. I have to go back and finish them up and come back as soon as I'm through. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, not so. I didn't put myself in this state, you know. Why are you leaving me to carry the burden alone? I know you didn't do it alone, but I mean, I have to go out there and work for money. Money to take care of you and the baby as well, huh? Mm -hmm. I need to take care of now. Huh? I do go. Please now, let me just go back and finish what I'm doing in the office. I'll come back and meet you as soon as possible, okay? Hmm? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I do go. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, make sure you don't pull such a joke again, huh? Was such an expensive one. I'll be back as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's not fair, I'm not so it's not fair.
sun. Has-